Hey, what's going on everyone? Steven the Gamer here from Star Gaming TV. What I got for you guys is going to be a new GTA Online video. And I figured since there's not a lot going on in GTA Online, I figured it'd be a great time to just do like a kind of like a stats showcase for you guys. Something a little different, but I feel like it would be, you know, kind of useful to show you guys just how much I play the game, how much I enjoy playing the game, and how much I've devoted all my time to this game. So without further ado, my guy's getting a little impatient over there. So let's go ahead and look at those real quick. So, um, real actually, real quick, we should just talk about my cash. So, all of that is legit cash. I have 136.1 mil. That's all grinded from MC businesses, special cargo warehouse stuff, nightclub sales. All that's coming from that. So, do not think it's modded. It is not modded. I do not like modders, and I will never play like a modder. So, and of course, my rank is 614. I'm going to get that up to 615 today when I do some client jobs, you know, after I post this and stuff. So yeah, we're getting a little impatient in game, so we gotta look at those. Um, so here's the stats. So my career. We have 34 million RP, which is a lot. It, it's actually really close to 35 million RP. So that's all the RP I've ever earned in GTA Online. That's my, you know, for my rank and stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've sp or I've gotten 605 million dollars. That's all the money I've ever earned in GTA Online since I've ever played. That's what that means. And I've spent 469 million um, just in like cars and stuff. We'll take a look at that stuff in a little bit. Um, I've killed 5,000 players and I've only died by 2,000 players and that makes my KD 1.8. I really don't care about KD but if you're interested in that that's what that is. I have a 1.8 on the dot KD. Um, it's not a really big deal for me. I've traveled 41,000 miles which is a lot of miles just up and down the coast. My favorite radio station is Los Angeles Rock Radio. I do not like that, but for some reason it thinks that I really like that station. Whoops. Um, and this is the inter interesting stuff. I've actually spent 190 days in GTA Online, which is a lot. Um, again, I'm going to tell you what I do. Um, usually I'm not even active. For the longest time I've just been having my controller or my game on the cameras in my nightclub. So my stuff will produce, and then when I'm ready to come back, I sell it. You know, while I'm playing with mods, it does that for me, which is really nice. I usually play it with mods on my PC, on, you know, in single player and stuff. Um, and then I, I played six days in first person, which is kind of interesting. First person is one of those things that a lot of people don't use, but it's kind of useful. It kind of gives you a different, you know, perspective on the game. It shows you what you would look like if you were in the game, if you know what I mean. So, that's what that is. I kind of find that interesting. A lot of people don't use first person, but I think it's a really cool little feature that they've added since uh, next gen has come out. Um, I spent 22 hours in death matches. I'm not a really big PvP player, so it's not a big number. I understand. I spent three days in races. Again, I'm not a big racer type person in GTA Online. I like to play free mode and stuff. In the creator, I set the day. Now, all those are totals. Those are not like, you know, the record, like, you know, the most amount of time in a couple days or whatever. That's all the time I've ever spent, you know, totaled up. I've actually published just five death matches. Um, I've gotten 130 or 103 plays from my published content. I've gotten 39 thumbs up. Not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and go down. We don't need to look at skills because there's really nothing to see. You can see that all that's masked, maxed up. There we go. Um, so here's the general stuff. So for my character, I've been playing on this character for 174 days, 20 hours, 30 minutes, and 32 seconds. Pretty cool. Now again, that is. All the totaled up that's not like in a row that's all of it totaled up i actually created this character on 526 14 which is pretty cool and i last ranked up on the 8th of this month which was literally yesterday so not a big deal right there it's pretty obvious i've spent 14 hours in a single session which is kind of a lot but it's not you know too bad and then my average time is 46 minutes um i'm gonna go ahead and just highlight some of the ones that i find important so we're just gonna go Total deaths, I've gotten 12,000 deaths, which is not really that important. Um, just some little minor things here. If you want to take a look, I'm not going to read over them all. Um, I've spent three days in cover, you know, all the different things at the bottom. I've gotten 3,501 bounties on me. So, so that's kind of interesting. Alright, so we have crimes. So this is all like the, obviously crimes. I've killed 46,891 cops. I've killed 22,441 cops. Now this is 
um, just in GTL 9. I do not hate cops. I would never do that to them. Just so you guys know, I, that is not a threat. That's literally because of this. Um, I've gotten basically 39,000. One more time, and I'll have 39,000. Uh, one of the stars attained and I have evaded 23,673 of those stars Which means I've called off Lester about 10,000 or more than that like 15,000 times so pretty interesting um, I've spent 11 days in total with the wanted level um, I'm gonna go through these the important stuff, you know all the explosions and stuff stolen all that stuff on the bottom You can take a look if you want um, this is the vehicle ones. So you have the Shotaro, my favorite bike. The highest hydraulic jump is 4.72 feet. Not that big of a deal. Um, I've spent five days flying helicopters, four days flying the planes, 13 hours sailing boats, five hours riding ETVs, and four hours riding bicycles. Which where's motorcycles? So I see motor. Oh, there it is. Motorcycles nine days. That's because of the oppressors. But you know. That's why it's so big. Um, and then my fastest vehicle that I've driven is the T20 with a whopping 224.9 miles an hour. That was back way back in the day before all the other cars in the they nerfed that stuff and all that stuff. But that's just interesting as well. All my crashes, most flips in one vehicle jump is 50. That's pretty you know amazing. I've actually completed all the stunt jumps in GT Online, which is kind of interesting, and I've gotten almost 100 well 160,000 near misses which is you know like when you're cruising around a car that type of thing and you don't get hit that that's what that is um cars I've blown up 58,000 our cars you know, all these different stats not really that important I've um uh, that's not really important so here's the interesting part this is what I was going to tell you guys so before you go any further the reason why my earn from selling vehicles is so high I'm not gonna lie to you guys I used to do dupe glitches I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's just because I owned a lot of vehicles I'm gonna tell you the truth that's what my main goal is but the reason why that's so high and it's almost 130 or 14.3 is because I literally used to do that all the time that was back you know in 2016 so but I don't have any of that money left there is none of that money that I earned from those cars or that 114 million now not all that's from you know the duping, but some of it is you know I'm looking at probably forty to fifty million dollars of that is from selling cars due to dupes. Now again, those that's, I don't have any of that money anymore. I wish I did, but you know I don't. It's long gone. It's been earned on import export gun running. It was mainly from gun running that that money went down the drain. But that was just what I had, and I'm just not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. That's the reason why. And for, earned from good sport reward, I've earned basically 1.9 million dollars, which is kind of <laughs> interesting because you get that two thousand dollars every day. You know, it's kind of one of those things that's like, wow, that is a lot of money. That means if you know, do the math for me, guys. Let me know how many days that's worth because I'm so, I'd be surprised. Now that's now just keep in mind that that's an every day. So like every GTA Online day is 48 minutes. You get two thousand dollars if you're a good sport. If you're a bad sport, you don't get it. But um so yeah you can do the math let me know what you guys think that is and i'll uh heart your comment so as for combat not a big deal but i'll go over it real quick we have 1.3 million shots or actually 1.4 million shots 380 hits my accuracy is not good 27.5 which i have no idea how but that's just how i guess what it is i've gotten almost 193,000 kills and uh, let's see, headshots, 35,000. Arch enemy is that guy. Um, I have got killed by him four, 40 times. Real quick, if you're wondering how I got killed so much by him, before I knew how to like go into passive mode and all that stuff, that was back, you know, in 2015, 2016. I would just let my controller do, like my character do circles by, you know, putting my controller on my chair and having like the little, the uh, what do you call it, the stick going in circles so my guy walks around in a circle basically and he killed me from just standing still that's what some people will do and my victim is just my friend that I my best friend in real life um so yeah um as for these we can't look at them but I mean I we might be able to so here's just my that's on my gun so that's about it for this so hopefully you uh found this kind of interesting you know like I said let me know what your stats are 
you know, take a look at your stats. You know, you might be surprised at, you know, what your stats actually are. Because for me, I, I actually found it pretty interesting. Also, stay tuned for a garage tour. I have that plan coming up for the casino update drops. It'll probably be like later this week after the newswire. So maybe it may, might be tomorrow, but I'm hoping to get that out pretty soon nonetheless. So, yeah, here's some of my bikes, but we'll take a look at them in depth later on. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Um, let me know what your stats are. Like I said, what do you guys think about these types of videos? Would you like to see more? And actually, before we go, let's just take a look real quick. While we're at it, we'll just take a look at this, or my stats for my MC businesses, and then we'll do the other ones in another video. So hopefully, I can get this out real quick, and let's see what we got. So, you know, from my counterfeit, I don't really use this one that often. I've only got 265 from it. My meth, I've gotten a lot, 12.7 mil. Cocaine, I've gotten 11.3 mil. My weed, I've gotten 2.9 and my document forgery 36,000 so that just goes to show you just how much I really don't use my MC businesses that often I mainly use the nightclub in the bunker for most of my stuff but we'll take a look at that later on those are just some of my little stats that we'll go over later like I said so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more stuff like this and GT Online news coverage and casino update coverage and I will see you guys in the next video Make sure you leave a like and I'll see you guys then.